Well, we have the pleasure and the honor of sitting here and talking with Zach Wilcox, Skinny as he is affectionately called. First of all, Skinny, just let me thank you for coming down with us. You know, I mean, that that was a risk. I mean, you know, it, you had to uproot, you know, everything, come down here. And, and uh, so, just first of all, I'd just like to say thank you. And then, you know, just a, a little bit about you, you know, kind of a three-sport athlete out of out of high school, excelling in three sports, and then wrestling for your dad. And, uh, of course, your dad was quite a Greco guy, too. You yeah. like that Greco. And uh, yeah. so you've been in, in actually just, you know, just wrestled, you know, wrestling this summer in, in, in Greco. And, but, uh, you know, first of all, just the transition academically, I like to also say you're a two-time academic All-American, so... You know, the academics are big for you, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, how did it fit for you coming, you know, you had to transfer hours and it was, was it a pretty good fit? Did it, did it transfer very, you know, pretty well? Most of my hours transferred and that was good and I actually, uh, coming down here and got me to graduate faster and uh, I was supposed to graduate in May with a degree in uh, history, uh, leaning, going towards uh, the education program. And uh, and then I graduate the next May with my master's in education. So it actually worked out better coming down here for means of being being in school. It lines up right with when I'm done wrestling. When my eligibility's up, I'll be up and done with school. So lined up a lot better here than I did at UNO. And you'll have a master's. And I'll have a master's. So that'll be nice. Dang, I can remember. Skinny, you know, I, my undergraduate, I, I was a teacher and a coach in mm -hmm. high school. Yeah, I'm almost south, your old alma mater. The Packers, the pack Packers. is back. Yeah. <laughs> Saudo. Saudo. Are you a Saudo? Are you I an SOB? So. I believe so. <laughs> Me too. I'm an SOB. Anyway, they say if you ever, if you teach at South High, you're an SOB. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so, uh, golly, you know, the, the, uh, um, for you, want to go back into teaching and coaching, right? So you mm -hmm. teach history. Yep. Okay. You could actually probably coach football for sure. He's a heck of a football player in high school. Wrestling. Mm -hmm. Maybe a three. What could you? Maybe three sports. I'd rather I'd rather stay away just because third sport would be during freestyle Greco season. Right. I want to work with that. And I've been talking to Zach a little bit about after I graduate coming back and helping to run his free song Greco program and building up the state of Nebraska because yeah. it's kind of down right now. And I noticed that when I was a head coach this summer for Team Nebraska for uh, Fargo and Junior. Might Rose. mention that because you were the you you coached you coached the team at the you know Nebraska team at the Junior Duels mm -hmm. and then at the Junior Nationals in Fargo. So you had some great uh, and the guys did a tremendous job. You know. For you, you know, getting those guys all down there, and I was yeah. impressed. I was impressed that you were able to do that. And another thing I think we should mention, you you really kind of helped start your little club there. In, I uh, did. It was tough for me to leave that. I mean, I just started it the last year at UNO, and it was tough to leave it because I started working with so many kids and building it up, and I didn't know who was really going to take it over. So that was it was really tough for me to leave it, especially after just starting and, and getting – Starting a tournament this first year and trying to work with kids and helping helping out with the high school kids in the off season, so it's hard to leave that. But uh, my dad ended up running running it for the most part, so that was mm -hmm. good. Well, I really think you have a gift, you know, to work with, you know, young 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 people, uh, whether it be you know the younger ones or the high school level I think you have you have a gift for that so mm -hmm. I think you're in the right profession so you know teaching history and you want to be at the secondary right you yeah. want to, you know so okay and then you know so guys you got experience now and and uh, freestyle Greco folk style you got you've got yourself a great background and and uh, and then you're a heck of a football player too so probably wouldn't wouldn't bother you to coach some football, right? No, my brother, me and my brother are going to try and end up at the uh, same high school. My brother's coaching football at Skyler now, and uh, we're going to try and end up at the same high school so we can work together. He wants to try and be a head football coach, and I want to be a head wrestling coach, so we're going to try and work together and see what we can come up with. Great stuff. Jeez. Follow your dad, and, you know, and, mm -hmm. and uh, that kind of thing. Dang. So, uh, 
you know, he played, of course, he played football in college, and you're, you're, you know, wrestling. I might mention that you're a letterman, and like I said, already a two-time academic All-American for us, and, and a great addition to our team. So let's talk about our team a little bit, and uh, kind of the difference between last year and this year. What do you see as the differences? Differences? I mean, our room seems a little bit more competitive this year than it did last year. Last year it seemed like people were still, it was still kind of hectic getting everything situated, and it seems like this year everybody's a little bit more situated, a little, a little more toned down, and they're ready to get after it. I've noticed this year compared to last year, people are getting after it a lot more, and there's a, it seems like it, the room's more competitive. Yeah. Well, that's something actually I've worked hard on is just trying to get, you know, more depth, more, mm -hmm. you know, just... Uh, and I think I think we've done that, and it just kind of seems like the level has picked our, our whole level up. Yeah. One yeah, thing I, you know, we're in steady all here tonight. One thing I really appreciate you just helping some of our young guys with their, you know, this really good student here, uh, you know, on the uh, the academic. Uh, would actually tell us a little bit about that. You were on the. Uh, is it was it education academic list or? Mm -hmm. the, uh, I made the uh, I made the dean's list both semesters here. Uh, with a three-five, um, and I was a tutor for the first or for the second semester last year, and was in the classroom first semester, and uh, got to work with some high school kids, some honors kids, and I really enjoyed that. Yeah. And then worked with the students here at Maryville. And now you were you were at uh, Parkway South, right? Parkway South, where Donnell's from. Yeah. So you, uh, gosh, that's a big old school down there, it's yeah. spread out. It's spread out. I don't know how big it is, but it's spread out. Golly sakes. And that's one thing I've noticed about the high schools down here. It seems like more open campus. I haven't been to any in the inner city, but it seems like the campuses are more, more open and they let kids go outside during class. And I was thinking, you know, if that's South High, it's not. <laughs> might not work. Might not work. <laughs> kids might not come back. <laughs> now, do you see yourself, now you talk about coaching with your brother, and coaching and teaching with your brother. Do you see yourself kind of staying in the Nebraska area? You want to be in a larger high school, or does it matter? Um, me and my brother both kind of want to move out to the country. Find, okay. find, we both enjoy hunting. We want to find some land. Just if it, if we end up being in the country, or like being in a smaller school, that we're all right with that. Or if we end up being in a bigger school, with somewhere that's close by that we can go hunt, that's we're perfectly fine with it too. So. So you're a bow hunter, right? <laughs> yeah. You like to fish? Yeah. More of a hunter, though. Right? More of a hunter. Okay. Well, guys, it's been great visiting with you. Anybody you want to shout out to here? Mm, just my family and my club back home and Zach. Yeah. Zach really helped me out a lot this, this summer. We had, He had a really good room up there in Omaha. Yeah. It's good that we had a place for all of our guys to go and work out together. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's doing that. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a little dedication when we go up there. So yeah, he really, he's really, he's got a nice room now, and he knocked down a wall and made it even bigger. And we had a really good room. He uh, worked with me a lot, helped me go to uh, universities where I got fourth, and helped me go to uh, world team trials where I got fourth as well. Well, thanks for all you do for us, and thanks for uh, giving us your time today. We want to wish you a great season. Thanks. It's fun being down here. Okay, buddy. Thank you. Thanks.